The Miami Dolphins have blossomed into one of the most dangerous teams in the NFL this season, and are surprisingly leading the way in the AFC East for the time being. With another victory in Week 12, this time against the Houston Texans, the Dolphins are continuing to prove that they mean business this season, but that hasn't stopped overreactions from rolling in as a result of their win. The Texans are the worst team in the NFL right now, so beating them isn't exactly something to write home about. But it was shocking to see how dominant the Dolphins were in this game. They had essentially won the game at halftime considering they were holding a 30-0 lead, and it's hard to dispute that since they didn't score a single point in the second half and still won 30-15, as is the case with just about every game in the NFL, overreactions have been getting fired away by fans all across the league, which isn't surprising given how dominant Miami looked in this game. Knowing what is an overreaction is key. Though, so let's take a look at the three biggest overreactions and see why they are being labeled as such. 3. Raheem Mostert should be the lead running back when he's healthy. The Dolphins have put together a really strong running back duo in Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson Jr. this season, with Wilson being picked up in a trade with the San Francisco 49ers to work in tandem with Mostert. Against the Texans, though, it was just Wilson on the field, as Mostert was forced to miss the contest with a knee injury, Wilson seemed to be emerging as the lead running back of the two, and a huge day was expected of him against a vulnerable Texans defense. Instead, Wilson only managed to pick up 39 yards and a touchdown on 13 carries. It didn't ultimately matter considering how much of a blowout this game was, but it was disappointing to see Wilson struggle with the lead role in this game. There are going to be calls for Mostert to get more carries moving forward, but there's really no sense to fully give either of these guys the lead role at this point. They have been extremely effective in a committee so far, and that likely won't change anytime soon. Even then, Wilson has been more productive on a per-carry basis this season. For that reason, there's no reason to force a move here with Mostert and Wilson. 2. The Dolphins have a top 5 defense in the league. The Dolphins' offense has obviously been a revelation this season, but their defense has also had some strong outings along the way. They tortured Kyle Allen in his first start of the season, and while they took their foot off the pedal in the second half, it can't be lost in the blowout nature of the game just how dominant the Dolphins' defense was early on, Miami defense has been lost in the madness of the offense a bit this season. But they deserve just as much credit as the offense. The Dolphins have a lot of strong pieces who are making life difficult for their opponents, and that should serve them well as they continue to make a push for the AFC East Division title this season, unfortunately, that just isn't the case, as the Dolphins' defense has struggled for long stretches of the season. They are allowing 23.3 points per game, which is 19th in the league, and while they have a deep secondary, their front seven hasn't answered the bell so far this season. Beating up on the Texans won't change the fact that the Dolphins' defense has some work to do. 1. The Dolphins are favorites to win the Super Bowl this season, it's becoming tough to ignore just how good the Dolphins are this season. They are leading the AFC East, which says a lot considering every team has a record above. Right now, and their offense has shown no signs of slowing up in recent weeks. The win over the Texans was just the latest sign that the Dolphins mean business this season, with Tua Tagovailoa making some significant strides under center, and key offensive weapons such as Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle leading the way. The offense cannot be stopped. The defense is coming around, and while there is still work to be done, it feels like this team will only get better as the season progresses, still, it's hard to envision the Dolphins entering the same class as the Buffalo Bills and Kansas City Chiefs atop the AFC right now. Those are two proven teams that are going to be competing for a Super Bowl. To label Miami as the favorite to win it all is premature, especially considering there's a decent chance they won't win their own division. The Dolphins are obviously dangerous, but they still have a lot to prove with the playoffs right around the corner.